township stuff. Um, but, you know, I'm not saying we won't find them. We found Kurt. So, um, but his last day will be um, at the beginning of July. And then hopefully he will stay on in it like a part-time or as needed basis until we get the other person up and running so that we can, you know, keep moving forward with township business. All right. So hopefully it won't be too long, but I know it is a process. <laughs> but you something. know how long it took them to replace the last township manager, right? Yeah. So. It's like what, a year? Something like that. I guess it was a whole thing as to when they started the process, but. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, just what you wanted, more things on your plate. Wait, and, and so I'm going to take you guys out of order just in case, you know, it's going to impact everything. Right. Because as Kurt is winding down and transitioning his responsibilities to other people, what we can ask him to take on is going to be impacted. So, hey, John, um, I did get approval from the board to move forward with the kids kingdom. I did it in a way because I had a brief email with Linda. I did it in a way that gave us some budget for it. But Linda and Greg are going to go out there and look at Kids Kingdom and see if there's stuff that has to be removed and what works. Um, so if we need more money, then we can we can talk about that. Um, but that's what we were able to get done right now, because um, even that will require resources from the township after Linda and you guys give us better detailed plan, you know, the contracting and whatnot. So everything's going to be impacted okay we'll try to keep that in mind before you leave Suzanne I want to run thing one thing by you but I don't have to do it now um is Jonah on the call yep okay there he is I'm here oh there you are <laughs> all right so Looks like he's at the train station I am at the train station yes Okay, you wanted to get your the plastic bag reduction. On the sure, agenda. yeah. Um, what I'd like to do, let me move to a quieter area. Um, I'm hoping uh, still to get the uh, Board of Supervisors to sign on to the letter that I wrote uh, for the Bucks County Commissioners, um, uh, encouraging countywide uh, rather than municipal um, uh, to have uh, countywide uh fees and uh ac uh actions discouraging uh use single use plastic bags and incentivizing reusable bags right i i saw the discussion last night it wasn't clear that the supervisors would be sending the letter to the bucks county commissioners and asking them to take action right uh, as of now Joan, if you don't mind, because uh, I know you're in a noisy place. Sure. Uh, now, yes. supervisors haven't agendized it. So I don't know if you can conjugate the word that way. Um, so I can try to, you know, follow up with them and see what their interest or how they want to move forward um, with it is. But there are, like, again, you know, a lot of things going on, right? The, right. the airport and, and whatnot. So it could just be a bandwidth issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make it they clear that Jonah, Jonah sent them all the letter. And so I assume they all have. Okay. Yeah, because it's just a matter of you sending the letter to the commissioners. You don't have to do anything after that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want to reopen any wounds because they're really on my body. But you see how effective I am when I have something that I want to get done and what happens with it. So, uh -huh. you know, I wouldn't, you know, I may not be a best champion. Okay. Well, so you don't have to be the best champion. You just have to be a champion, Suzanne. So how do we go about getting it on the agenda? Is that, do we have to push? So I, I don't want to make it sound mystical, right? But the yeah. chair, the chair controls the agenda. So the chair is, is that's James this year. Uh -huh. He's trying to balance all the things that we have on. He probably, you know, tries to understand what the willingness of different people are to move forward. So, you know, 
I think I think he will do it when when it can. I don't want to say when there's time. I get that it's important, but there's you know a lot right now. All right. I mean, last night we were there, you know, well past eleven, um, and that's probably going to be what it's like for the you know next few months. And that's suggestion that uh, the co-chairs Ellen and Linda. Uh, along with Jonah, uh, get in touch with James and, uh, you know, discuss the issue and try and get it on a, uh, an agenda, an upcoming agenda. Uh, I think that's probably, uh, you know, a good way to proceed at this time. All right. Maybe Jonah and Linda and I can write a, an email. I have our names at the bottom, just one email to him asking them to do it and explaining real simply what it is. Are you there, Jonah? He's there. He's hearing everything. He just got on New Jersey Transit. He looks like he's on a old train. LARR. Oh, he's on the island. All right. Well, why don't you write up a brief memo, Jonah? or email and send it to Linda and I to look at, and then we'll give our okay. And then you can send it to James McCartney. Sure. Sounds good. Get on the agenda. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. All right. I have another suggestion as well. Uh, The uh, plastic bag issue is really not cutting edge anymore. It's pretty much mainstream in a lot of communities and states. And uh, my suggestion to Jonah is maybe doing a little research on what's happening in New Jersey recently, which is very, very positive, uh, and include that in the uh, message that's going to be sent to James McCartney. Jonah included that already. Um, it's in the letter about ShopRite, the business owners in New Jersey. Um, but, you know. I think this is actually the whole state of New Jersey now. Yeah. Yeah. To do something. So. Yeah. No. Jonah. Jonah had that covered. Okay. All right. Uh, item three: the tree-related ordinances. Is there anything on the invasive species ordinance, Linda? So oh, I sort of talked to Jim as I was talking to Monica about something, and he knows he needs to get me something, but he's kind of he was still dealing with some of the sewer sale stuff. So, but he knows that he's got like three emails to respond to me, so. Okay, so it's continuing. Yep. yep. All right, the tree planting locations. Yeah, I commend you Suzanne for bringing it up at the meeting yesterday and um, getting approval for $7,500 for planting trees at King's Kingdom, which is one of the sites we recommended. And I guess, Linda, you're going to go look at the site and decide. Yeah, because right now I think it only has like eight proposed trees. And I know from talking to Mon, it was either Monica or Greg, another few have died. So I'm not sure what needs to be replaced or where. So I want to see it before we actually say what we're going to plant. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking at the side, like the side of the King's Kingdom that it's toward the pool area. I think it's to the north or northwest. That's where you need some trees to shade the swings there. And then maybe continue them out onto the, there's like a peninsula of grass going out maybe 50 feet. And there's some dumpsters there. I mean, it looks kind of bad. It look a lot better if it had some trees there growing. Okay. So look in that area too, see if it's okay. possible. Because $7,500, you can plant a lot more than six large trees and two small ones. <laughs> yeah. I want to take advantage of that. Yeah, uh, Linda, when you decide to do that, uh, why don't you let me know? Uh, when okay. we're in town here, my schedule is pretty flexible. So uh, I'd be willing to go out with you and take a look as well. All right. Well, I'll send an email to Greg and copy you. And then we'll get something scheduled. Yeah, uh, me too, Linda. I would like to come too. All right, Alan, I'm fading. What else you got for okay, me? Okay, can I run by the, the idea? It, it has to do with the recycling event, either May 21st or May 22nd. 
we were thinking of doing it on the 22nd to save money on truck rental, but I was thinking about it and I have a proposal here that would say, I actually have four good reasons why we could do this or should do it, but it depends on one thing. And that is to have the collection when we normally have it 10 to noon on Saturday. And we put all the styrofoam in the bags and temporarily store them in the supervisor's meeting room until Monday morning. I promise I'll be there at eight or eight 30 with the truck. I pick them up and they're out of there. We just remind you that that's the week of the blood drive. I cannot oh. have styrofoam all over that place if I'm going to be trying to get people to donate blood. So you got to be there on Monday. Okay. When is the blood drive? It's, Monday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Oh, it'll be out of there. And the advantages are it would be the same time as we normally have it. Um, we'd save at least $50 on truck rental. I'd only need the truck for a few hours that Monday morning. That makes sense. And then yeah. I wouldn't need rides to the rental place twice because I'd have to drop off my car and I have to get it for keeping the truck for a couple of days. And also I could, I'll get a 15 foot truck. And if it looks like we need a larger truck, I can change it to a larger truck. If a smaller truck, I can change it to a smaller truck and we might save some money on that. So for those reasons, I'm thinking May 21st, 10 a.m. to noon. Um, is that okay with everybody? Well, I have Sounds a, good to me. Uh, I have a question, Alan. What is the uh, truck rental for a day? Is it really high? Or, or not? Well, I mean, if I'm looking 50 or $25 a day, I don't it's think- It's like 50 bucks a day. But an extra day or so. It's 50 bucks a day. So- if Why we, we, $50 a day is not a lot of money. Why, uh, why don't we do uh, what's most convenient? And by that way, we don't have to fill up the, uh, the room with styrofoam. I mean, 50 bucks a day, we have a budget and that's not a lot of money. Okay, well, somebody's going to have to give me rides to the rental place or back from the township building to the rental place on Saturday or Sunday, and then on Monday pick me up and well, take me to the township. Yeah, we'll, certainly, yeah. we'll certainly do that, Alan. That's no. So you're not going to be in town. I thought you were gone in May. Oh, that's oh. right. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Probably got to do it. Thinking about April. I can do it. Sorry, sorry about I that. Can do it. I just said, all right. We'll come back and do it. We'll come back and do it. <laughs> I'll do it, Alan. <laughs> well, well said. I mean, what I'm trying to come up with is the easiest way to do this and forgetting about the, the cost of the money because the cost of the money is not a big deal here. Uh, all right. What I would like. What, what do you think, Alan, is the easiest way to do this when we don't have to worry about the cost of it? Because we're not talking large dollars here. For me personally, to do it the way I just suggested, do it Saturday, put the bags in the room. I come there early in the morning on Monday. The bags are light. I can load them in the truck, take it away. I return the truck Monday morning. I'll take it to Ray Bob's. I'll take the stir from the Ray Bob's. And I'll be done. All right. If that's the way you feel about it, I'm certainly, you know, uh, I don't object to that. Firstly, we're not going to be here. But <laughs> if you're the one coordinating this, and if you think that's the easiest approach, uh, you know, I'm certainly fine with that. Okay. And I, and I think Paul said he'd pick you up, right? Did you, Paul? Yep. I said that. Pick him up. Why? Well, I, I don't need Drop a ride if we do this much. Uh, on Saturday and then deliver it on Monday. I'll be, um, I won't be a burden on anybody <laughs> driving me around. Oh. Oh. Alan, you're never a burden, okay? No. Suzanne, never are you gonna be now. able to help on, if it's on Saturday? Yeah. So Paul, Suzanne, are you and your daughter? I can, help. Um, I can definitely commit myself. I don't know when her volunteer hours have to be in, so her her <laughs> kindness has a you know hard stop. But uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll have at least so three people. I suggest that you talk to Monica to see if she can have some uh, 
you know, volunteers there, I think that would be very helpful. My original suggestion was to use the large bags, have two or three volunteers on each bag as the uh, cars pull up, load them real, real fast, let them get out of there, and, uh, you know, go on to the next one. Where do we right. get these bags from? I'll get them. Um, Those are Home Depot's has them. Right, and Lowe's. And Ray Bob has some extra ones themselves, so I might be able to get some from there. So who's going to be able to help on that Saturday? Suzanne, okay. Paul, myself. Oh, Linda? Kevin. Sumia? Okay, that's – and Kevin? Oh, man, we're set. <laughs> <laughs> and the flyer together. Yeah, I'll, I'll send the flyer out in the next couple days. I'll post it – about a month from now, I'll post it at the Starbucks and grocery stores and township building. And maybe Sumia, you can post it on or send it to Monica. Yeah. Get it posted. Okay. And I'll send it to everybody. And so feel free to put it wherever you want. You can put it out in the newsletter. You didn't we got to put out something for this for the speaker series anyway. All right. Yeah. Add it to the newsletter. I'll send you the flyer though, Paul, so you have hmm. all the information exactly. And we're going to get the prescription bottle caps correct this time, Sumia. <laughs> yeah, I'll make sure that it's correct. Yeah. <laughs> Alan. Yeah. Are right, you guys okay without me? Uh, my um, yeah. The battery, my contact for the batteries, um, I'm, I might see if they can do a direct pickup there. Um, so okay. I'll, I'll, I'll find out the logistics from them. Yeah, it'll be noon on Saturday. They can come by. Okay. All right, great. Good night, everybody. Right. Suzanne, thanks. Good night, for Suzanne. Good night. Good Thank you. And Linda, you feel better as well. Oh, okay. She's gone. Wow. You okay, Linda? <laughs> I just had too many field days and crappy weather. So yeah. I'm just yeah, exhausted. Good. All right. Well, we can get through this pretty quick. Um, land use plans. There's nothing at the uh, on the uh, 1566 subdivision. That's the one at Yardley Newtown Road and Creamery Road, six new houses. They need to submit a revised preliminary final plan and they haven't done it yet. The other one worth mentioning is the BAME school. They're gonna do an addition on the corner of the building and it's, it's not real large, it's 7,845 square feet. And they're also gonna modify their parking a little bit, but they're going to be planting 39 new trees, mainly in the front of the building, and but also a few in the parking lot. They're going to put a parking lot island on the west parking lot, and it'll look a lot nicer. So um, they are taking down five trees, but planting 39 makes up for it. So I don't think we need to make any comments on it. Unless... Well, the only suggestion I would have is the, that they be native, but I think they're going to do that. Yeah, they are. They yeah. are. They're all native. Right. The other thing is uh, that parking lot is huge. And the last time I was over there, it was really chewed up a lot. Are they going to resurface the whole thing? I assume so. They're going to put the uh, parking islands in the middle of it. So they're, they're going to be doing some major modifications to the parking. Well, I think that's a good idea because that wide expanse, firstly, in my humble opinion, it's one of the ugliest school buildings I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yes. Well, yes. That wide expanse. Pardon? It's, it's original, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know it was actually 1959. And the reason I know that is I played basketball for Pensbury High School in 1959. And the Bain School was just finished at that time. And they had a world class gym. So first class uh, or first team to play in that gym. So that's the only reason I know it was 1959. For all I know, that asphalt might be original. I mean, it's really, really in horrible shape. But I like the idea of the uh, breaking it up. Uh, I think from an aesthetic viewpoint, it's going to be much nicer. Yeah. With that in the trees, the school should look a little bit nicer. They just get rid of the building. It'd be really nice. <laughs> Then, well, Alan, the you say, thing, Alan, did you say, are they going to do something about the the ditch, tributary, whatever? Oh, yeah, but that's part of the MS4 permit 
pollution control projects, which remember we reviewed that last summer and they had to um, get our permit for our sewer system. We have to control the silt leaving the township on the impaired water streams. And that's one of them they're going to do. I think it's 1,200 feet or something. It's, it's huge. Long. It's long. But I mean, are they going to plant along that also when it's done? Or we don't know those details. I assume so, yeah. If they're going to reduce. so. Yeah, they have to, to reduce the sill. They can't I just, would think so, yeah. Yeah. So just that's one other there. thing I think we should be concerned about. The um, fuel oil storage is underground there for, for the buses. Yeah, it's in the back by the creek, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, that well, was built in '59. Uh -huh. how, how sure were, are you are those fuel tanks not leaking? <laughs> well, I assume they'll look at that, but if they don't, we can ask them to. I don't know when yeah. they're going to do, do this. It'll be a couple years mm -hmm. from now. Because they're going to there another the issue balance. about a stream actually running under the building itself. <laughs> I don't know about that. I could, look up it right historic, now. I could look up historic aerials and see. There might have been. It's probably all wetlands down through there. Yeah. Yeah. I finally got a copy of the approved MS4 pollution control projects, and it was good to see that they took into account our comments we made in August on the draft. So they did a number of changes, and one of them is they're going to naturalize um, and retrofit the Reagan track basin over at Big Oak and Ferry Road. So that's one of our tree planting locations. So after that, we'll be able to plant trees there. So that was good to see our comment letter was incorporated. Was this the one behind, was this the a catchment so. basement behind the Jehovah's Witness? The Mormons, behind the Mormon church. Oh, it's Mormons. <laughs> I can't keep track. <laughs> All right, so the retrofit or the MS4 permit, they're not going to be, they're just going to probably remove that channel and a bunch of other stuff, but they're not going to do any planting, right? That's up to uh, I assume they will do plantings. They have extreme bank erosion. I don't know if you've gone there. Go look at it. It's like the worst bad. I've ever seen. It's bad. And they've got to stabilize that. So they're going to do plantings. They're going to probably smooth out the banks. I mean, it's, it's going to be a major project. Go look at it sometime when you're over oh, you're, there. You're talking about the ferry track, right? The the base. Oh, the ferry track. Okay, I thought you were talking That's about. That's what base. I'm talking about. Yeah, they're going to take out the. Are they going to be uh, putting plants in that as well, or is that our responsibility? I think the trees would be our or the township's responsibility. All right, but that's still really good news, though, because that was one of our poster child. Uh, right you know, uh, green space uh, acquisitions, and it's sorely in need of this kind of work. So I think that's first class news and, uh, you know, hurrah to everybody who had a hand in that, especially you, Alan. I know you did a lot of the, uh, the work in that. Sumya, did you have something to say? Yeah, no, if they convert them, uh, if they're going to naturalize and convert them into bioretention basins, then I am assuming planting uh, plan would be part of it. Yeah, hopefully we can get them to plant the trees as part of the whole naturalization process. Yes, I, if we ask to uh, review uh, during the design process, I'm sure we can give in our comments. Yeah, I'll, um, next time I talk to Jim Majewski, I'll mention that, that we're interested in the planning of that. Yeah. Find out when it's gonna happen. All right. Okay. Um, Wait, so as thing. an all as an offset, so funny story about Bame, the building does go over where the original stream went. Oh, so the they stream, moved the stream. Uh, well, wow. or some, sometime before that. Yeah, they were going to build a big dam on that creek about where Derbyshire is. Is that the road that cuts across? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, like 500 foot long. I don't know how high it was, but um, they were having such flooding problems with that creek. I guess that's Rock Run. Maybe it's Rock Run. I'm not sure. All right. Um, the final thing on the recycling is 
we sent out the flyer that Gina and I put together about recycling in LMT. Um, we'll use that at community events like Community Day to hand out to our fellow citizens, let them know what's going on. And I don't know, whenever we need it, we'll have it. I have a question on that too. Uh, when I was looking at the second page, uh, it says aluminum foil. I always thought aluminum foil was a proper item to recycle. Well, waste management doesn't like it. Okay. So, yeah. Um, and we did make plastics one through five. Waste management says one through seven. And Ally or Republic doesn't say anything. And... Um, so we decided to play it safe and just use one through five because six is styrofoam. Styrofoam, yeah. Which you can't recycle. I think a certain six, but not all sixes. And seven, it's just all other plastics. And that doesn't sound like a good idea. No. Yeah. At, best, be at best, it's the one and two. Everything else is wish cycling. Right, yeah. So <laughs> we'll go up to five, but no further. <laughs> Uh, again, you know, to Alan and Gene, nice job on this, though. I'm looking at a copy of it right now, and I think this is yeah. really a good handout, uh, and especially, you know, with that uh, Earth Day coming up on the 23rd. But should we also have it on the EAC website? On uh, Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. 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 Okay. And actually, Paul, at some point, you should send it out in one of your newsletters. Yeah, well, I'd send it out in the next district of the newsletter for sure. Because okay. that's yeah. the number one question I get when people respond to the newsletter is exactly this. Really? Oh, really? Oh. Huh. Yeah. I, when I meet people socially, it's the same thing. That's the first question when they find out I'm on the EAC. What oh, are you oh. doing about plastics? Huh. Wow. All right. Well, we're set. All right. Big number seven, the environmental lecture series. Sumya, you got something planned. Yep, it went pretty well because the participants, uh, the people whom we have asked are very enthusiastic. So uh, they were, they're a really lively bunch. Most of them know each other. So I think uh, we're gonna have a lot of enthusiasm and a lot of information. So we need to spread the word. Uh, so nice. we have uh, hopefully a good attendance. And we are allowed to bring food and drinks, except that they should be, uh, for health reasons, prepackaged pre or something like that, which I didn't like. Uh, but uh, maybe we find some uh, palatable prepackaged food. Yeah, recyclable. <laughs> I know. I mean, how much of packaging do we want? Or we just get it and, uh, you know, we never heard the instructions. All right. When I put out... Do we have any... Uh no, the names of the people? Yeah, look uh, at your emails. I sent out the flyer. Did you get it? Tom? Okay. I did. I, I get so many emails. I can't keep up with it. <laughs> okay. Sumya, uh, I talked to you the other day, Sumya, and we still haven't received so you it. You haven't received it? No. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, when okay. I put out the flyers for the recycling event, I'll put out some flyers for this event too. Okay, sure. At Starbucks and places like that to get the word. No, I got Sumia's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Alan. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I got yours, Sumia. I'll check what happened. Anyway, I can yeah. say it again. I would have clicked reply all and wouldn't, I may not have checked whether everybody is on it. And if it was from some specific discussion, maybe some people got left out. I'll, I'll check that. Yeah. All right. Is there any other things we should do for publicity? Uh, well, it's all over Facebook. I'll post a reminder. It's uh, with the township. I can ask. Uh, um, well, it's in their calendar. It's supposed to be on the TV uh, in their local community center TV screen. Uh, what else? What other channels do we have? Uh, there doesn't have sent out a press release. Press release. Uh, well, uh, because it is an EAC event, uh, the, uh, the township is required to advertise it. So I believe mm -hmm. there have been some um, notice in, uh, I think, the Courier Times. Where does the township uh, post these things? 
So uh, if you have any other suggestions, yeah, we could do that as well. Yeah. My other suggestion is that for these lectures, we always had a couple of signs out front of the community center, one on each side, just saying, you know, lecture here uh, tonight or whatever the time is, uh, two of them. So people coming in either direction can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, uh, I, I'll go there uh, ahead of time to just make sure that my computer connects fully to their system. And uh, I think one of the speakers is happy speaking extempore. Other people have pictures to show. So I'll figure out what format they want to present in and uh, coordinate with them beforehand. Uh, does anybody want, and we have to just tell the, uh, uh, the Parks and Rec person, Elizabeth Lawson, uh, as to the seating arrangement, table arrangement, whatever arrangement we want in the hall, and they will uh, have that done. So how many people, how many chairs should we ask for? Boy. I guess is maybe uh, 30 or 40. Yeah, I, I yeah. think. So I'll do that. I'll do that. Too. And if you have any suggestions for what food and drinks we can bring, which will be compliant to township things, please give me ideas. I don't want to buy manufactured, factory-made food. <laughs> yeah. Um, mm. We got into that in the past with them, and oh. uh, what we ended up doing is not having anything because that was the easiest course of action. There's all oh, I see. Okay. Re regulations from the Department of Health about bringing food into uh, the building. Uh, we tried to skirt that, trying to think of doing this and that. And finally, we just said, uh, look, it's, it's too cumbersome. It doesn't work, it's not worth it. And I don't think the people really care, quite frankly. They're here, uh, they're primarily for the, uh, for the lecture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's just from from our side. If we uh, if we can do something uh, to make people feel comfortable, but it's not essential. Yeah. So I see well, that there is a lot of. Uh, sorry, Paul. Go ahead. Yeah. Do they need a projector or a screen? They have a screen. Uh, I just need to check that my uh, computer will hook properly. With I have the right uh, ports to do that. That's it. Yeah, because I have. Um, an adapter for an Apple, and I also have an HDMI cable hmm. that hooks into HDMI my projector. Out. They have an HDMI cable sticking out from the screen. I just need to mm -hmm. make sure that everything is in order once uh, before okay. the date. And yeah, I've actually given a lot of these over the years, and what I've always done is uh, two or three days before, I went up and I talked to Monica, and I just made sure that everything was working right because... Uh, obviously, it's uh, pretty embarrassing if uh, we're having issues on the day uh, of the uh, lecture, but you seem to have that under control, Sumya. I went there once and I saw the setup and she briefed me on what's required. So I said, okay, it's too early right now. Closer to the date, I'll come in uh, in person and make sure I get my gadgets and check everything. So, uh, Sumya, what are they going to... Um... There are four of them, right? And they each have a different topic. So are they gonna do their topic and then take questions after they, you know, each person does their own um, topic? Uh, no, uh, we had it. they are very organized. So Catherine uh, Beeth uh, wanted a meeting to discuss all these nitty gritties and she uh, gave us an agenda. I have a minute to introduce and they all get 10 minutes and all discussions at the end. So they are in charge. Those people are okay. very often. All righty. So they're, they're going to do the four yeah. talks and then they're going to, that then the discussion. Yeah, that's yeah. to make sense. Yeah. I know Catherine uh, quite well and uh, she's a former very successful businesswoman and I'm sure, you know, she's getting involved in it. Uh, you know, it's it's going to be a very orderly process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's she's very uh, uh, particular about small things. Mm -hmm. So, um, what I learned, or rather, I've been observing since the last maybe over three four years, is that there is a lot of, lot of interest, uh, a lot in the last a year or two, uh, interest in uh, homeowners uh, wanting to know how to start native plants, asking for native plant seeds 
and uh, suggestions for plants, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So following this, these are like I guess cream of the crop for us. But I think there are going to be uh, many more residents whom we should be able to invite to talk about their experiences and how they're going about it. There is a lot of interest on I mean, on the Facebook uh, pages. People are asking these questions. Where do I get it? What should I, uh, you know, I'm, I want to remove this. What should I plant? So that, that's that's uh, becoming more and more frequent nowadays. Yeah, I think you're definitely right, Sumya. When we put this ordinance in 15 years ago, it was pretty much cutting edge. But even at that time, the plants were available. But now uh, they're pretty much in the mainstream. You go to a lot of these nurseries and they have separate sections for uh, native plants. And there's also a, a whole host of plants called American Beauties. I forget what uh, company is putting these out in uh, decorated uh, pots, you know, with green, with a nice logo on that are all native. So these are available now. And I think with our native plant ordinance, it generated, uh, I think, a lot of interest in the township because the secondary aim of that ordinance was to get the people in Lower Makefield Township involved with native plants. The township doing it's one thing, but the big bang for your buck is when we get all the citizens involved. So what you're doing here, Sumia, is very commendable because it's yeah, going to that's the idea. even more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's the basic goal. So that if the, that is the popular notion, then we don't have any <laughs> change of ordinance proposals. So we we'll uh, to send out the ordinance police. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> So do we have any handouts that we can place over there? Anything that uh, we should put on a table there? Uh, existing literature, we don't need to print more things. I think if we have already existing paper to be that can be distributed, we could do that. Well, I think in our box down in the uh, lunchroom, uh, we, uh, we have that uh, display in the uh, main lobby of the administration uh, room. And there's a lot of pamphlets in that box downstairs uh, dealing with, uh, you know, Pennsylvania uh, invasive plants and also the benefits of natives. Uh, so if you want, I can I can look into that, Sumya, and see what uh, we have that's available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I know I've been down there, the, you know, sellers, but I don't know which right and left I took and where and where that room actually is, where this box is. So if you could, if you have the time, if you can just take out whatever we can put on the table, that'll be great. Yeah, I'll take, uh, you know, I'll take some time and take care of that. Uh, yeah, oh. the, other, the other thing is now they are allowing in-person. So Jim, you might want to uh, schedule the uh, talk that you're <coughs> planning to do for some time. Yeah, the one in the fall that we envision. Yeah, I'll get in hold. I'll get a hold of Colleen, and uh, you know, see what uh, works for her. Uh, but there, it will be live now, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll print out some black and white versions of the recycling event on May, and um, we can put them out so people can pick one of those up. Because black and white copies are cheap. Color copies are at least a buck each, so they don't get those. They'll just get the black. <laughs> They're expensive. We also have bags left that we got from uh, McCaffrey's and um, what was the other um, uh, store? Uh, it was uh, McCaffrey's and Giant, I think. Or no, yeah. ShopRite. ShopRite. ShopRite and McCaffrey. We still have those too. Yeah. Yes. Let, let's decide what we're going to do on number eight because we might need those for number eight if we yeah. decide to do number eight. <laughs> yeah. I think April twenty third. Yeah. Yeah. Number eight is Middletown Township's Earth Day event on April twenty third at Cor Creek Park. Now Jean has volunteered for the whole three hours. Um, glutton for punishment <laughs> and I can only last an hour and a half and I'll turn into a pumpkin I that's enough for that but you know we don't have to do this this is like just being a good neighbor. Gene and I have done it in the past I'll, I'll kick in you'll kick in yeah 
Okay. We veterans. I just didn't know where it is. They've moved it around. Every time they've done it, they've had it in a different place. I think if you go on the website, the Middletown Township Park and Rec website. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, isn't it? It's in Cork Creek Park, though, right? Yeah. Right. All right. I just checked, and I have uh, two really good pamphlets. One is called Landscaping with Native Plants, uh, and these are Pennsylvania uh, pamphlets. And the other is Your Natural Backyard Habitat. And I have quite a few of each of these, so I'll make sure that uh, they're available uh, at the time of the lecture, Sumya. Yeah, sure. That would be great. So do we need to have our, our bring our own table on Earth Day? I believe so. We, and we need to send in this form that Linda, did you just send it to me, Linda? Or did you send it to everybody? I thought I sent it to everybody because okay. I wasn't sure who was going. Yeah, and it says what? have the tables. You have tables? Yep. You have, you have two chairs? Yep, tables and chairs. Okay, at least two chairs, maybe three if we're all there at once. Yeah. All right, when when did you want to go, Paul? It's from 11 to 2. You have to go at the beginning if you're bringing the table, though. That's no problem. Okay. 11 is great. Okay, and how long can you stay? I'll stay until the end. All right. All right. So, good man. I'll just come in the middle and liven things up for a little while. <laughs> yeah. By the way, there's also a vinyl a po a vinyl banner that we have, Lower Makefield. Yeah, I, I have that. Environmental Council. And uh, that's uh, always a nice thing to bring along, Paul. Yeah. I, right. I have that right now. It's, it's all in the boxes. When we had the uh, aborted community day, I never brought it back to the township building. <laughs> okay. It's still in my garage. <laughs> All right. We'll bring that, Paul. I'll, I'll make copies of the flyers for the lecture and the recycling collection, and we'll have those available mm -hmm. at the table. All right. And I'll pick up the uh, bags. Yes. Oh, I have those, too. Oh, you I'll do? Get, <laughs> gee, I have the bags, <laughs> too. <laughs> What else you got, Paul? <laughs> it sounds like a bunch Grand of Fenton literature also. It sounds like. <laughs> yeah. All right. So um, I'll go ahead and fill out this form and send it in so they know we're coming. Okay. Uh, Alan. Yeah. Yeah. So do, do we know if our parks department is participating? I believe they are. Monica said that they wanted to. I can find out from Monica because she's the one who sent it to us. Yeah, because maybe All we right. could just do something together with them. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, then maybe you want to coordinate with Monica. Yeah. Yeah, you might only need one big table, okay? And, uh, you know, rather, you know, be uh, uh, all over the place. So, so who's going to contact Monica? Is that you volunteering, Jean? No, no I mean, I could. <laughs> I'll send an email to Monica and copy you guys. Okay. So she'll, re she'll respond to everybody. All right, good idea. Sounds good. All right, and then based on that, well, I'll go ahead and fill this out, but I'll wait to hear from Monica to say whether, well, I guess we don't need a table. We're bringing our own. So yeah, I'll go ahead and fill it out. Send it to him. The parks park guy over there. Thanks, yeah. Alan. All right, we're just moving right along here. Number nine, yeah. the newsletter with a web page. We're going to put the recycling flyer on there. Mm -hmm. The LMT, and you're going to send out a newsletter, Paul. You said. Yep. Yep. It'll, ha it'll have the uh, lecture. It'll have the May twenty first recycling event, and then the little flyer that gene and i put together so you got you got a long three newsletter. things yeah yeah well we don't send them out that often so no all right anything else are we ready for number 10 uh, all right kevin you sent out something on ready for 100 do you think they're changing the organization or something 
Uh, yeah, I, I got this email. I don't know a whole lot about it. Um, it sounds like on a national level, the Sierra Club is reorganizing um, and trying to combine some initiatives. It sounds like they have just a lot of different directions and they're trying to um, streamline things. I don't, I don't know what the implications are yet, um, but I hope to find out within the next month or so. All right, so you're going to keep following it. And then hopefully at one point, we can get the supervisors to join up. Okay. Yeah. I had a, um, a long tone uh, phone conversation with the new uh, uh, Eastern coordinator for the um, uh, conservation voters. And she's trying to put together some type of environmental summit. You know when? Not sure. She was just contacting the Sierra Club, um, um, the Citizens Climate Lo Lobby, and the um, Environmental Justice Coalition of Bucks County. And she was going to get back to me, but she was going to be there at the thing in Middletown. Uh huh. All right. Um, I'm looking for something on Facebook that I just saw. Oh, there's a new document or a new set of documents on the township website. It, it's called Play for All, and it's the our parks assessment that the Park and Rec Committee have been talking about for months now. So you might want to look at that. They have a few documents on it. And interestingly, one of them is our recommendations for use of the sewer funds, that letter we sent out maybe a couple months ago. So that's in there for some reason. But... um. You might want to look at that at some point because eventually there'll be a report recommending how what we do with our parks, how we improve them, and there's a thought of developing the snipes track. So we want to follow that, among other things. So that's just a heads up. All right. So we've got 10 minutes open discussion. Yeah. All right. The I want to uh, just mention is I received a uh, email from a former member, Rick Ewing, and I did send it out to everybody. And uh, Rick, uh, you know, mentioned something about planting more trees and uh, recycling in the township ball fields. Uh, in my reply, I basically told him that, you know, we're planting thousands of trees uh, and then we're in the midst of a, uh, an ambitious program to get more containers uh, in the various ball fields and recreation areas. He also mentioned something to me that was a little disturbing. And he said, uh, it's probably because of the, uh, the COVID issue, but he's seeing a lot more trash around the ball fields and all throughout the township. And he himself is making a, an effort uh, that once or twice a week, he's going around and picking up a lot of this uh, trash. Uh, I'm not sure I remember seeing a lot of it, but then I'm not looking uh, for it either. Uh, but he said the reason he thought is that with the COVID issue, a lot of these businesses that, you know, you see on the side of the highway, uh, trash picked up by such and such a business are not doing it anymore. And that could be, you know, uh, one of the uh, significant reasons why maybe a lot more of it around, but uh, me, I just throw that for out for discussion for, uh, you know, a quick uh, minute or two discussion. I know we all want to get out of here, but what's everybody's feeling about that? Do they notice more trash around the area or what? Um, I don't know about the trash part, but I know that um, I see uh, uh, announcements for a trash pickup day by some organizations once in a while. So I think those are happening, which means there is trash. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we want to, you know, formally address this issue or not. It's just that, you know, constituent brought it up and he's a former member. Rick was member. EAC for yeah. several years. So uh, anyway, let's uh, just keep it in the back of our mind and uh, <clears throat> And maybe we'll address it or talk about it at another meeting. In the meantime, I'm going to take a closer look around because uh, I'm riding around the township all the time. Uh, 
but I did uh, write Rick uh, in uh, response and I mentioned to him, let the, why doesn't he come to a meeting soon? And that we are planting many, many trees and we have this ambitious program going on in the park. But anyway, that's all uh, I have to say. All right. Um, Linda, when you write Monica, you might ask her if she still plans on attending our May meeting because a couple months ago she wanted to attend it to talk about this uh, document, I play for all assessment I talked about. So you might want to include that in the email. Okay. Anything else? Going once, going twice. Going twice. <laughs> Sold. Yeah. I Sold. Yeah. <laughs> I will make a motion to end, to end this meeting. All right. You got a second? Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. Good night, everybody. Aye. Enjoy the rest Good of your night. Day. Okay. Good night. Yep. I'll be sending out the flyer. Looking right. forward to it. Bye. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>